my dear brothers and sisters, hello dear respected viewers, and welcome to Karbala, welcome to Land of Hussein, welcome to Live Ziyara TV show. Thank you for choosing this TV show, this Live Ziyara show, and inshallah tonight we are going to spend half an hour just speaking with Imam Hussein alayhi salam and feeling if we were here in Karbala, inshallah. And this TV show is going to prepare the appropriate situation, inshallah, for all of you to feel yourself here in Karbala by showing live pictures from Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abul Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. Just like any other night, I'm going to say salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abul Fadl Abbas alayhi salam on your behalf. So please follow my words as I'm saying salam to Aba Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. Assalamu alayka ya Ibn Rasulillah. Assalamu alayka ya Ibn Amir al Mu'minin wa Ibn Fatima al Zahra. Assalamu alayka wa ala al Arwah al Lati Hallat bi Fina'ik. Alayka minni salamu Allahi abadan ma baqeetu. وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتك السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين Now, my dear brothers and sisters, let's say salam to Aba al-Fadl al-Abbas عليه السلام the moon of Bani Hashem tribe, Qamar al Ashira. Assalamu alayka ya Abel Fadl al Abbas. Assalamu alayka ya Qati al Kafain. Assalamu alayka ayyuhal Abdul Salih. Al Muti ulillahi wali rasuli. ولأمير المؤمنين والحسن والحسين السلام عليك يا كفيل زينب السلام عليك يا حاملة لواء الحسين السلام عليك يا ساقي عطاشا كربلاء ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear brothers and sisters I leave you alone for a few seconds to fill yourself alone with Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abba Fadl Abbas alayhi salam while you're watching live pictures from these two holy shrines. شداد أدري رحمتك ما تريد تحت سيدي مداد وانت يا ابو علي مثل الوطن لي مهما بعد منزله لا مو صعوب تأمل مه فقط إذا طحت بلا قطع من فراد سلعلم عندي كربلاء دربك الوقت تأمل مه فقط إذا طحت بلا قطع من فراد سلعلم عندي كربلاء Oh, 
My dear brothers and sisters, I'm so proud to serve you tonight. I'm so proud to be your host, to be host of this TV show and connect you with Imam Hussein alayhi salam. You were watching beautiful pictures from Holy Shrine of Abu Talib al-Abbas alayhi salam. You saw how calm it is. It is not that crowded, but in future, in 40 days, in this period through which lots of people, millions of Zahreens will come from all around the world to Karbala. Karbala will be so crowded. Inshallah, I hope and I pray for all of you to be one of these Zahreen, <coughs> one of these visitors who can come to Karbala and visit Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas alayhi salam, insha'Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm so happy to have you by my side here over Facebook. I'm so glad to see lots of beautiful messages coming through Facebook and I would like to ask you to share this live Facebook show with your friends, insha'Allah. So, every single person all around the world will have the opportunity of watching these live pictures from Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abba Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. First, before I start reading the messages of the Facebook, which I see there are lots of messages in front of me, I would like to read the message of Fatima Vakil from India who sent us a message yesterday on WhatsApp, but unfortunately because I uh, was not connected to the WhatsApp for some technical issues, unfortunately, I couldn't read her message yesterday, but right now I can read it for you. She says, Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah alayhi salam. Assalamu alayka ya Aba al-Fadl al-Abbas alayhi salam. My only wish is to visit Imam Hussein alayhi salam on Arba'een. Please pray for my visitation. My sister Fatima Vakil, inshallah, I pray not only for you, I pray for you and your family. I pray for you and for all the Shia people in India, in Pakistan, in Iran, in Kuwait, in Jordan, in Mesr, in Saudi Arabia, in European countries, in Netherlands, in Germany, in New Zealand, in the US, in Australia, in any country in the world. There are lots of Shia people all around the world. I pray for all of them, for each one of them. Inshallah, and I ask God, I beg God, to grant them the opportunity of coming to Karbala, inshallah, this Arba'i. But don't forget, you also need to try, you also need to attempt to, inshallah, be able to come here and visit Holy Shana from Hussein alayhi salam in any time that you can, by sending emails to the embassy of Iraq in your own country, by speaking with your friends, even by encouraging your friends, you know, by getting together, gathering, and just thinking how you can come to Karbala, inshallah. It is so easy, it's not as hard as before. So, inshallah, I hope all of you be able to come to Karbala, especially for Arba'in Ziyarah, and don't forget to pray for us too. Here, I would like to read the Facebook messages that they can see right here. I would like to start with Sakine Radawi's message. As the first message, she says, Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam wa Aqa Abbas alayhi salam. Aba al Fadl al Abbas alayhi salam, the loyal brother 
of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And right now you're watching this beautiful picture live show from Abel Fadl Abbas alayhi salam holy shrine. They are just cleaning and taking the dust over the holy shrine and the windows of the grave, the sacred grave of Abu al-Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. God have mercy on all of these za'ireen who are around the grave of Abu al-Fadl Abbas alayhi salam and inshallah God have mercy. <coughs> inshallah God has mercy on all of you dear brothers and sisters all around the world. Zakir Mu'mini says salam ya Hussein alayhi salam. Maryam Lana says Assalamu alayka ya Abu Abdullah Assalamu alayka ya Abu Abdullah Al Hussein alayhi salam. Thank you so much, Maryam, my sister from Pakistan, I think. Rusul Hussein says Assalamu alaykum. Please remember us in your prayers for what is in our hearts to happen. Assalamu ala al Hussein wa ala Ali ibn al Hussein wa ala awlad al Hussein wa ala ashab al Hussein. Thank you so much, Rusul Hussein, for your beautiful message. Alia Batul says, Ya Mawla, please call me again. I would like to notice this that when she when Alia says call me again it means that she has been in Karbala before so Alia how do you think how do you feel when you came to Karbala how was that for you and now when you are back home don't you think that your heart is still here in Karbala don't you think that you didn't take your heart with yourself to your hometown. I know. You left your heart here in Karbala. And whoever comes to Karbala and visit Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam forgets to take his heart back with himself. So I know how Ali Batul feel because I was exactly feeling the same when I was not living here in Iraq when I was coming to Iraq when I was coming to Karbala when I was visiting Holy Shrine of Imam Hussain everything was perfect and when I was returning to my hometown my heart was not coming with me it was staying here in Karbala and I was missing Karbala and missing even breathing in the atmosphere of Karbala so for that I pray for all of you dear brothers and sisters to be able to come here and visit Holy Shrine of Imam Hussain alayhi salam Sayyid Muhammad Murtaza Zaydi says Iltamas Dua inshallah I will pray for all of you here in Karbala, in the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussain alayhi salam and Abu al-Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. Zina Ismail says, As-salam, ya Mawla Hussain alayhi salam. As-salam, ya Mawla Abbas alayhi salam. Thank you so much, Zina. Ismail, for your beautiful message and for your salam. I'm sure Imam Hussain will hear your salam and he will reply as soon as you say salam. Even if the salam is not on your tongue even if you're not saying it by your tongue just as soon as you feel that you are saying salam to Imam Hussain alayhi salam by your heart then Imam Hussain will answer it Sayyid Muhammad Murtaza Zaidi says please pray for our visit to holy land of Karbala inshallah my brother Sayyid Muhammad inshallah I will pray for you and I'm proud of praying for you and I'm honored to pray for you the beautiful picture that you're watching right now is live from Karbala you're watching Bainul Haramain I hope all of you dear brothers and sisters 
to be here in Bain al Haramain between the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein السلام, and Holy Shrine of Ibn Fadl Abbas. السلام, this beautiful place and breathe the air in which Imam of our time is breathing. For sure, Imam of our time, Sahib al Asr wa Zaman, he visits Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein السلام, and Ibn Fadl Abbas, السلام, especially. In Friday nights, Zahra Ralawi says, "Salamu alaykum, my humble." <coughs> Sorry, she says, "My humble solutions and love to my Mawla Hussein alayhi salam and Mawla Abbas alayhi salam. May Allah hasten the reappearance of our Imam." Inshallah, Inshallah, my sister Zahra Ralawi. Thank you for your message and inshallah may Allah hasten the reappearance of our Imam. May Mawla ease our trip to Karbala inshallah. I hope it's easy for you to come to Karbala for all of the Mu'min and Mu'minat all around the world. And inshallah I hope if I can see you here in Karbala, all of you, any single person who is thinking of Karbala inshallah I hope I can see him here in Karbala and inshallah you can visit Karbala and visit Holy Shana after Al Hussein alayhi salam we've got a message from Noor Anisa Begum Noor Anisa Begum she says Assalamu alayka ya Hussein ya Abbas Assalamu alayka ya Hussein, ya Abbas. Assalamu alayka ya Hussein, ya Abbas. Mola Mir Majlis Kabul Kajia. She's writing in Indian, I think. But anyway, her salam is so clear, and Imam Hussein will answer you. Thank you, Noor. And Alia Batul also says, pray, please pray for our visit to the Holy Land of Karbala. Inshallah, my sister, I will. Zina Ismail says, duas for my children. Zakaria Ismail, Zulfaqar Ismail, Dilshad, Zainul Abidin, and Shirzadi. May, let me see the rest of the message, yeah. May they continue to, ra to raise the flag of our deen just like Mawla Abbas alayhi salam, inshallah. <coughs> and you have a very, very beautiful dua for your children. You are praying, you are wishing them to be good followers of Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam. And inshallah, it will be just like what you want. It will be like what you are wishing for them inshallah if you ask imam hussein if you ask god and god will help you by treating them by educating them in the path of ahl al-bayt alayhi wassalam inshallah ishaq zainab says ya hussein and any single ya hussein is a code is a code of entering the holy land of karbala piece of paradise where you're watching right now these live pictures from karbala although it is not crowded right now but day by day day after day this place will be full of zaireen full of those who love Imam Hussein and Abu al-Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. Zina Ismail also says, Shukran my Mawla, some of my duas have been answered. <coughs> Sorry. Shukran my Mawla, some of my duas have been answered for my sister Nuri Bobat and her boys Muhammad Hassanian Ali Rada and Ali Akbar and I cannot see the rest of the message if she can just send the message in 
different parts in separated parts I will be grateful because I don't know why I cannot open all the message in front of me it seems that she's got uh, something else in her message so my sister Zina please if you can send your message separated you know just two lines and two lines not a, a long message please Ala al Salman says Assalamu ala al Hussein wa ala Ali ibn al Hussein wa ala awlad al Hussein wa ala ashab al Hussein Ya Rabbi bihaqqihim indik Assalamu alayka ya Abu Abdullah Acer Moore says Assalamu alayka ya Abu Abdullah Misha Radawi says please pray for me to call me again and again and convey my salam inshallah misha Ravawi, i pray for you and your family to be called by imam hussein alayhi salam to karbala inshallah and you can pray for all the mu'minin and mu'minat here in karbala inshallah soon zina ismail also says my humble du'as requested for my cousins Rubina Dawood and Muhammad Bilal Dawood please let them have the pleasure of becoming parents I make this du'a through and I can only read this part until through and uh, please if you can send the message in short you know lines i will be so pleased and i will thank you hussein ali says salam ya imam al hussein alayhi salam and ya abbas alamdari ba wafa alayhi salam thank you so much hussein ali ya samin al sham says as salam ala qatil al abarat as salam ala al hussein thank you ya samin for your salam and there's something so special in her Salam in Yasamin Salam. She says, Assalamu ala Qatil al Abarat. Qatil al Abarat in English, if I want to translate it, means the murder of tears, of cries. If we just translate it uh, without any concentration, it's not a good meaning, but if we just translate it correctly, then we will notice that Imam Hussein alayhi salam is not murdered. So, uh, in, uh, and the reason of murderdom of Imam Hussein alayhi salam is not just to cry for him. No, it is not just like this. It is not from this side to this side. Imam Hussein is not murdered, so people cry for him. No, this means Qatil al Abarat means. The way through which Imam Hussein salam, was murdered is so deep, is so impact, is so sorrowful, is so sad that no one can handle, no one can stop not crying for it. No one can stop crying. Even stones cry for the tragedy of Karbala and tragedy of Ashura. Even Sky cried when Imam Hussein salam, was murdered, when was beheaded by Shimr Allah Imam Hussein salam, is Qatil al Abarat because whoever hears how Imam Hussein was murdered will cry, will cry without any notice. He will not notice, he will not uh, just think about his crying and drops will, and tears will drop out of his eyes as soon as he hear how Imam Hussain salam, was murdered. So we need to focus on the meaning on these of these things, you know, of these special items about Imam Hussain alayhi salam, any single item and any single topic which is Imam Hussain alayhi salam called by has got a special meaning and we need to 
notice the best meaning of all these topics. For example, Saqi Atasha Karbala, Abu al-Fadr Abbas is the person who was, his duty was to bring water for the children of Ahl al-Bayt in the tents. Or Abu al-Fadr Abbas was the flag holder. And what does it mean, flag holder? Yeah, Abu al-Fadr Abbas was the person who was special. He was great in his position by taking the flag. Because taking the flag of Imam Hussein Ali Salam is not a simple and it's not an, a low level task. It means that this person is going exactly the way and the path that Imam Hussein Ali Salam wants. So we need to focus and notice on all these great topics and things. Thank you so much, Yasamina Sham. Zina Ismail also says, Redwan Ismail and daughter Sharia Amreen. Thank you for <coughs> sending these messages. Hussein Wood says, please, please pray for me. Inshallah, brother Hussein, I will pray for you. And I would like to ask all the Mu'minin and Mu'minat, all the brothers and sisters who are watching us right now, Inshallah, we pray for each other. And Inshallah, all of you be able to come here in the Arba'in, Inshallah. Zina Ismail is still sending name of her family, Imran, Sumeya, Zay, Zaira. Quraysha Ismail, Sufia Ismail, you all are remembered in my du'as. Yeah, Zina Ismail is praying for all these people who she has writing their names. And thank you, Zina, for noticing all these people, all these uh, mu'mineen and mu'minat in your du'a. Thank you for praying for them. Nadia. Bukhari says, call me soon on Arba'een. I'm waiting, inshallah. Uh, let me just see. Irfan Qasis says, Haq Hussein, Ya Hussein. Zina Ismail also says, special du'as for my cousin, Nadal Mustafa, Anise Mustafa, and Safiya Muhammad. May Allah grant your Sabr just like Imam Hussain salam, and Ahlul Bayt salam. Zain Ismail says we love you our Imam Hussain salam. Rubina Dawood says Assalamu Alaikum Ya Imam Hussain Ya Imam Hussain please call our family for together uh, uh, please call our family all together to make ziyarah on Arba'in inshallah in your blessed uh, shrine. Rubina Dawood also says, my mother Rad Radhiye B. B. Mustafa, my husband Muhammad, Bilal Dawood, my cousins Zina Ismail with her children as well as Nuri Bubat with her sons, inshallah. My dear brothers and sisters, there are lots of messages right here and I just would like to read the names of those who are sending messages. Fatima Von Abraham, Rubina Dawood, Ambreen Asqar, and Nadia Bukhari again, Zina Ismail, and Sadene Haidari. Thank you everyone for sending your beautiful messages. And I'm so proud of serving you. Thank you so much for you being with us and have a great night. Goodbye.